welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this Conrail SD50 locomotive. And it's been quite some time since I've done any Conrail units. And even longer since I've done an SD50. So this was definitely a good thing as it allowed us to update our SD50 build. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we'll start with the rear coupler. So take a Darko stair and get that attached up. Under it, we'll do a sideways Darko pin skate. Then on the next block down, three polished black stone on the bottom middle and an upside down polished black stone stair facing outward on either side. Then five polished black stone blocks across here. Then we're gonna open a dark oak pen skate on the bottom here and on the bottom over here. Then come in front of this and we'll do a three block tall T shape of polished black stone in the middle. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up this side and three coming up this side here. Then up here we'll put three polished black stone slabs on the middle. Then we're going to do two mangrove fence gates and a creeper head like this. Then we need to get a lightning rod and we'll put two lightning rods here and then swing around two on this side. Now come in front of this, and we're going to put a dark oak fence gate on each rail. In front of that, we'll do a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then we'll put a string in the center and a lectern above it. Then two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then put a lectern in the center again, and two dark oak trap doors on either side of the bottom. Then a final set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then put a string in the middle and a lectern on top of it. Then we'll put a dark oak fence gate here and here. Then one in the middle right here. One in the middle right here. Then we're going to put a hopper on the sides of all six wheels here. Then come up top and do a line of polished blackstone down the top middle till you're above this lectern. On the side of it, do a full line of dark oak fence gates here and a full line of dark oak fence gates on this side. Then in front of this on the bottom, we're gonna go to polished blackstone and we're gonna go three wide and then we're gonna make that 16 blocks long. So a three by 16. So once you have 16 blocks, just go ahead and fill this whole thing in three wide so it's a giant rectangle for the bottom of the fuel tank here. Then on the outer edge, a full row of upside down outward facing polished black stone stairs. And same thing on this side, a full row of upside down outward facing stairs. Then come on top of this fuel tank. At this end, two rows of three polished black stone in the middle here and then two rows of three in the middle at this end. Then we'll do the next truck here. So a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom up here. Then we're gonna turn this way and put a lectern here. Then a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then we'll do two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side. Right here, a fence gate. Down here, a string and then a lectern. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side. Then a fence gate here, a lectern here. Then a final set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then a dark oak fence gate on either of these wheels here. Then put a hopper on the sides of all six wheels here. Then come on the top middle and do a line of polished black stone up the center here. Until you're right here. And then a full line of sideways dark oak fence gates here. 
and same thing on the other side. A full line of dark oak fence gates on this side. Now, come stand on top of this, crouch, and we're going to put a single deep slate tile slab on each of these six hoppers. Then in the gaps between them, we'll move one hitbox down, two here, two here, then two here, and then two here. So our truck should look like this from the side. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the sides of all three hoppers. Come over here and put wither skeleton skulls on these hoppers as well. Then we have to repeat the process on the back truck. So come up here, crouch, a slab on all six hoppers here, deep slate tile slabs. Then move one hit box down between them, two here, two right here, then two here, two here, and then same thing. We need to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers here. Then move over here, and same thing on these hoppers. Then a dark oak fence above this middle wheel, and then a grindstone here and here. Copy it on this side, grindstone here and here, fence in the middle. Then take out lightning rods, put two here, two here, then two here, and two here. And we repeat that process for the front truck. So come up here, a grindstone here and here, fence in the middle, same thing on this side, fence in the middle, grindstone here and here. The two lightning rods here, two here, and then two here, and two right here. Now we're going to come on top of the fuel tank here, and on this top middle three, we'll go three wide with polished blackstone slabs and we'll bring it down to the other end of the fuel tank. Just like that. Then we're gonna to come to the front of the fuel tank on this second block back here. And we're gonna put a mangrove button here. One on this side. Then an inward facing dragon head on each side. Then a dark oak fence gate facing this way. Then we need to crouch and put a mangrove sign on the side of that fence gate. And we'll do the same thing on this side. A sign on this fence gate right here. Then behind that sign we'll leave three empty blocks of space. And then do a row of sideways anvils to the back of the fuel tank for our air tank. And then same thing on this side. Then we'll come to the front of the air tank, put a dark oak fence gate here and here. And then we'll come down behind here and put one on this anvil here. And then one on this one right here. Then we'll come up front here, take out polished blackstone right in front of this. And we're gonna do a five by three coming out to each side. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the center. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, three stairs on the bottom middle and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above it, we'll do a block in the center and two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three polished black stone slabs on the top middle three smooth quartz slabs coming up this side, three coming up this side. Take out a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around, stack it up to the middle second block, under it a sideways dark oak fence gate, then we're going to open a dark oak fence gate on the bottom of each side like this. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here, two here, and then up here we're going to do two mangrove fence gates and a creeper head. 
Then we'll come behind this on this third layer and we're gonna fill this whole top middle three end to end with polished blackstone. Then on this top outside edge, we're gonna do a full line of light blue concrete up here, going end to end. And of course, we'll do the same thing on this side, a full line of light blue concrete up here, going end to end. And now our base is finally done, and we're gonna come up to the front here and start working on the nose in the cab. So come on this top middle on the third block in, do light blue concrete, smooth quartz, light blue. Then we're going to change this bottom block to black wool and this one to black wool. Then two light blue stained glass panes on either side like this. Behind this here, a three by three of light blue concrete on either side. And then go ahead and fill this top middle as well. Up here we're going to put a glow item frame on either side with a redstone block for the marker lights. Then we're going to come on the side of this here. We're going to put two light blue shulker boxes on the bottom and one light blue concrete here. On this side, two shulker boxes on bottom. Then on this side, we're going to do six more shulker boxes coming back. And on the other side here, we'll do four. Then four light blue concrete above this side. On this side, start right here and do five light blue concrete. Then on top of this up here, we're going to do a light blue concrete, two smooth quartz, a door, then turn this way and another door. Over here, we'll do a light blue concrete at the back, two smooth quartz, a door, turn this way and another door. Then on this front corner of this side, we're going to close a jungle trap door for the brake wheel and put a polished black stone button under it. Then up here, we're going to put a temporary block in the middle, a trap door, and open it. Then take out the temporary block. Then up here we'll do a light blue concrete, two black stained glass blocks. Then a light blue concrete here, and two black stained glass blocks in the middle. Then up here, four prismarine brick stairs facing outward, and four on this side. Cover this top middle with light blue concrete in between them. Then up here, a light blue concrete on the top center and a light blue stained glass pane on either side of it. Then we're gonna come down here and crouch and put two light blue banners on this door to cover it. So the cab has the correct color. Then we'll come on this side and put two banners on this door here to cover that. Then up here on this side, We'll put a white stained glass pane for a mirror, and we can't put one on this side because of the door. Then we'll come behind the cab here, a column of light blue right here to the top, and right here on this side, and in this top middle. Then we'll put a shulker box, stack two of them like this on this side. Then behind this, we're going to do a 3x3 three three of light blue on each side like this. Cover the middle with cobbled deep slate. Then we're going to put an anvil on this center and a deep slate tile slab on the upper hip box on either side of it. Then three iron bars on this side, three on this side. Then on the top middle, a light blue, cobble deep slate, light blue. Then we're going to put three light blue shulker boxes on either side of the top. Then up here, an oak trap door on the center and surround it with iron trap doors for the dynamic brake fan up here. Behind this, we're gonna do a three by four of light blue on each side. Then on the top of each side, three polished basalt with the pattern going vertical. Then up here, a three by three of prismarine brick slabs. Then behind this, we'll come out another two with light blue concrete up to the top. And on the middle here, We'll put a smoker and a light blue concrete. Then surround this smoker with warp trap doors on top. So it looks like that. Then we're gonna come down to the rear end. So back here on the third block in 
on the center put a light blue concrete and then the bottom block on either side needs to change to black wool then a light blue here and here another layer of light blue on this layer we're going to put a smooth quartz in the center light blue on either side and then two more layers of light blue so it's five blocks tall come in front of this in the middle and do a line of seven cobbled deep slate coming forward and we're going to raise that up until it's all the way to the top here then on the side of this on the bottom we're going to do three layers of light blue shulker boxes and bring that to the front of this cobbled deep slate section here and then we'll do the same thing on this side three layers of light blue shulker boxes then up here we'll do a three by two of iron bars then two light blue concrete and fill the rest with iron bars and then the same exact pattern over on this side right here now that that's done we're going to fill in the whole rest of this side here five blocks tall to the top with light blue concrete and bring it up to the front so it's all connected and then we'll do the same thing on this side fill this whole side in five blocks tall with light blue concrete and then connect that up We'll also fill this top middle with light blue. Now take prismarine brick slabs right here, make a plus shape, then one connected at the front, one at the back for the fans, and put oak trap doors on the centers of them. Also fill this gap with light blue concrete here. Then in this corner, we're going to put five light blue stained glass panes coming up here, and five on this side. Then we're going to come up on top and take out a polished black stone button. And we're going to put one here, one right here. Then on this side, start by the cab with prismarine brick slabs and run a line of slabs coming back until it's above this first back wheel. Then under this polished basalt, a 3x3 three three of light blue stained glass panes for the blower. Then take black carpet right here down to the back a T-shape on the back porch, and then come all the way up this walkway on this side of the locomotive. We're also going to come and crouch and put one on this shulker box here. Then we'll come up to the front, and we got to crouch two on these shulker boxes, two here, a T-shape on the front here and one on this shulker box here then we need to come up and stand on the nose and we can go ahead and cover this nose with black carpet up here then we're going to come up on this top middle open back to back warp fence gates for a horn then two light blue carpet and a lever then we'll fill the rest of this top with light blue carpet and we'll crouch and get them on these four shulker boxes around this fan here. Then we'll skip behind this exhaust and fill all this with light blue carpet. Then we'll get in between all of these three back bands here. And then come down and around the back. Now we'll do our railings to take out birch fence. Right here, come up four. Then right here, we're gonna come up three and over one and up two. Same thing here, go up three, over one, up two, and up four right here. Then take out warp fences, two here, two here. Then we're gonna grab a chain put a chain across this gap then go back to warp fences put one here up one and then over three on this side we'll put one here up one over one and then up one over one then we'll come down to the back take out birch fence again right here come up four here come up three 
over one, up two. Then here, come up three, over one, and up two. Then two warp fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then four birch fences right here, then go back to warp, connect it up right here, and start bringing it forward. When we get right here, we're going to come up one over one, and then up one over one. Then we'll come down to the back of this side, and connect our warp fence up right here, and start bringing it forward. When we get right here, we're going to put two on top of this end here, and it actually also raises where the blower is, so we'll put three on top right here. Then we got to fix this window divider up on top of the nose, take out this block, change it to black wool, then crouch and put a light blue banner on this trap door for the middle of the windows here. Now come up top on the center here, put a glow item frame with a frog light. Then on the side of it, we're going to do a dark oak sign with our number, which is going to be 6749. Same thing on this side. Then we'll hit those with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we got to come and do the rear end. So we'll come back here. Right here, a glow item frame with a frog light. On either side of it, a dark oak sign with six, seven, four, nine on each side. Hit those with white dye and a glowing sack. Then down in this corner here, change this block to black wool. Then we're going to open a column of warp fence gates coming up this left hand side above it for the ladder. Just like that. Now come into a loom, light blue banner and black dye, make the top half black, and put a light blue border on it. And this is for the windows we can do. So I'll put one here, and then one on this side over here. We can't do the other ones because of the doors. Now come to the back here, and we're gonna knock out these five shulker boxes and put in smooth quartz to represent where it says Conrail because we can't fit it. And we'll do the same thing on here. Take out these five, put in smooth quartz. Now come on this side and we're going to count four blocks of space from this blower. And right here, we're going to knock out blocks and we're going to knock out a two by three. So it looks like that, and come through, and we're going to knock out the same thing exactly across from it. Then go ahead and fill this middle with blue concrete so it's not a hole. Then we're going to take out smooth quartz stairs here, and a smooth quartz block. Put a block on the top middle, an upside down stair here, right side up facing this way here, facing this way here, and then a slab right here. So it looks like this. Then we need to come into a loom, light blue banner and white dye, horizontal on top and bottom. We're going to come right here with these banners and start bringing them back. And put them right on this blower and up to the cab. So the Conrail logo looks like this. Then we're going to repeat the process on this side. So we'll put an upside down stair here. Then right side up going this way, then a block, then a stair going this way, and a slab under it, and then right here take our banners and bring stripes all the way up to the cap here. Just like that. Now we'll do the interior. So we'll come on in through this door, and we'll put some frog lights on bottom for hidden lighting. Then at the level of the door, fill this whole floor with polished andesite slabs so it's covered. Then back here, we'll put two smokers in this gap. Then on this front center, another right. 
and we'll put two levers on it for the control stand. Then we'll turn around and put a stair on each side for a seat. And now the interior is done here. And for our final detail, we're going to come down here in front of the fuel tank and hang a bell right here. And now the locomotive is complete. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our Conrail SD50 locomotive. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, everyone.